What's up guys, this is Sean here and I just wanted to film a quick update to uh, introduce a new resident to Project Fowler and um, I wanted to give a shout out to Amanda and Rick at Rick's Fish and Pet Supply out in Frederick. Um, I was out there a couple days ago looking for a uh, fish, which I'll talk about later and I took a look um, at this Niger trigger that Amanda showed me and I fell in love right away and my biggest concern was how it would fit into um, the ecosystem here with uh, kind of the hierarchy that's been established already and my biggest concern was the Picasso trigger uh, Kiki uh, who's swimming around on the top because she sees me uh, shaking up some um, some brine shrimp so um, she's ready to eat. So my biggest concern was whether um, she was gonna get uh, agitated with another trigger, uh, but she barely paid any attention to him. And uh, the biggest uh, culprit was actually the male um, yellow tang, uh, the one I call Ozzy, who looks like he has a mohawk. He was actually the one that was going after the Niger trigger the most. And uh, that was pretty interesting, but um, they seem to work everything out. And the Niger Trigger has worked out his his uh, place in the pecking order, um, and he's kind of hanging out on his own right now. Uh, you'll notice that the anemone um, has moved, and uh, one of the other things you might notice is that the aquarium is now free of cyanoalgae. It is completely gone. I did some sand shifting because I wanted to take all the old shells out. Uh, the Picasso Trigger has been snacking on all the snails and all the hermit crabs she can get a hold of. And there's been a lot of shells left over. So um, I wanted to clean it up a little bit and uh, get some of that stuff out of there. So I did shift some of the sand uh, after. But if you look at one of my previous videos, you'll see the the uh, finished effect of ChemiClean uh, with undisturbed sand. Uh, it's some pretty amazing stuff. So um, I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to see um, if Kiki will be compliant and if she'll let me pet her. Because uh, sometimes she'll let me pet her if she knows she's about to eat. And I'm going to go ahead and target feed the anemone um, just to show you uh, what's going on there. So uh, let me go ahead and uh, get everything together. And first I'll get Kiki to, to pet me. Come here, Kiki. Come here, girl. Okay, so she wants me to come to her. Sometimes she'll let me pet her. Right there. Um, obviously, the uh, room clown isn't happy with my hand in the tank. But uh, she'll let me pet her. And, uh, you know, that's all for some food. So next I'm going to go ahead and uh, target feed the tank. And this is frozen uh, brine shrimp. And the first little bit will go to the enemy. Boom. that Niger trigger is greedy. And go ahead and dump the rest in. You guys can see the madness that ensues at feeding time here. And that Niger trigger has been eating pretty good. Uh, he was eating flake food last night. Um, pretty much soon after he went into the aquarium and you know got comfortable. 
Um, he's not shy. He's actually hanging out in the middle of the aquarium. Um, he's not uh, hiding in the rocks like some Niger triggers tend to. And, um, you know, he's found his way in the pecking order. So, uh, beautiful fish. Uh, again, I want to thank Amanda at uh, Rick's Fish and Pet Supply out in Frederick. And um, I did find my file fish as well. So, uh, Rick gave me a little bit extra uh, of a discount. So, I just want to give a shout out to him. Um, so, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and bring the tripod in now. And see what we can see so as part of the chemically uh, treatment I'm gonna go ahead and do a uh, 20 maybe 25 percent water change so that will be next on the agenda uh, right after I film an update on project Cubal so I got some um, interesting news over there as well so that's it thank you very much for watching my video guys and uh, please hit the subscribe button I've got a confish on the video you can click uh, to subscribe thanks